Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 Episode 15. Get in my hole. I gotta stay alive to meet daddy. Episode 39, Fluctuations Part 2. Get in my hole! You just do what Nanami says. Daddy coming back with the milk. It's a big Zenin reunion, actually. Isn't everyone but Nanami here Zenin? Daddy's home! <laughs> Hello. And he's happy to be here. Toji's beach vacation. Oh yeah, they wouldn't know, would they? Maybe Nanami? Bad news for someone. Give me. Uh, imagine the, the just absolute fear they would have if they knew this is the one person who beat Gojo. You have bigger problems, or someone has bigger problems. Someone's about to have big problems. All of you have big problems. He knows. Yeah, he's old enough to remember. No, that's Toji. And he walks. Oh, I thought he was about to walk on water. <laughs> Would have been perfect if he did. So he's just back. He's just back now. And in other words, he's, it's Toji. <laughs> Damn. As expected. Oof. Well, with Octoboy out, next, either Nanami or Old Man Zenin. The voiceover seems to imply he's not fully cognizant or not fully aware or back as a human. And it's just a killing machine. Wonder how Fushiguro's presence affects something, if anything. He's just having fun. I feel like it would have been more satisfying if Toji just showed up and one hitted him into oblivion. I mean, he will hit him into oblivion, but... No, 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 you're... It just feels so pathetic, attacking with fish. He's got some pretty cool summons. What even is that? Is that a real thing that exists in the world? What is this theme, though? Quick, into the hole! Make a hole while you can. I have no attachment to the octopus, but I feel fear for him. Your cousin, or something. He has no idea, it's his dad. <sighs> Yeah, it was pretty much a given. Yeah, it's a repeated beat. I don't know if this is the right move though. I don't I think you I don't know, you want him to be alive as long as possible. So the Toji's fighting him. Yeah, they are really saving me from seizures this episode. He's gone. You have a much bigger problem now. No, Toji is an ally to no one. I'm getting chills. What just happened? Did they kick him out? Oh, he's- oh, he's targeting... Megumi! Oh, no! Hopefully this is the day he dies. Yeah, yeah. As much as I hate him, it's been very clearly established that he's extremely powerful. Two... upper-ranked curses that I liked are gone. 
No, 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 I don't believe it. Wow, that's crazy. Why do I feel personally attacked by this character? That was fast. That was so fast. Yuji. Oh, they're feeding him. Are they doing this hoping that, that he beats uh, fake Ghetto? So. <laughs> Trying to take a selfie? Those two girls just totally accidentally saved everybody. They especially saved Nanami, who's completely alive, even if he got the Levi treatment. Armin treatment? There's so much happening at the same time. Did Toji go after Megumi because of their connection, or is it because he's actually the strongest? He can sense his full potential. Yeah, how many fingers is Yuji gonna get in this one episode? <laughs> that selfie saved them. Wow, long time no see. <laughs> Speaking of being frightened, they're on the same side now. Please take Jogo. Yes! <laughs> wow, the moment when Sukuna became my favorite character. You've come this far, may as well do what you're gonna do. They took a huge risk for this revenge plot. Sukuna has always been interesting. There's something about him that's similar to Gojo even, just in a very different application. Neither of them are hemmed in at all by outside pressures or force or power. They can do whatever they want. So you see who they really are. Sukuna just seems to enjoy domination, subjugation, the fear and awe that he inspires. But he's not just out to kill indiscriminately. I wonder if that very Gojo-Sukuna relationship won't get clearer as the show goes on and Sukuna gets more screen time. <laughs> Okay, that was a non sequitur, but fine. Even the ghetto fangirls. <laughs> Can't eat Gojo. It's impossible. Are you sure? Okay, all right. What was I saying about? Yeah, your your screaming is gonna get you killed. I don't that no, I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, there goes that. What's with the phone? We'll never know. <laughs> I guess we we don't need it anymore. Are you still alive? Oh no, this is not going the way I wanted it to go. It's a nice shot with a hole in the wall that he created. Okay, I like where this is going. Yeah, I mean, that's been clear for some time. I mean, you just can't win with this guy. Yeah, this is a stacked wager. And you have to do it. They just kill you if you don't. What has Sukuna ever done that wasn't <laughs> honorable and trustworthy? Can you get him to sign a pact? My my head is spinning from that episode. <laughs> Just so much happens so fast. It's like you think it's going to go one way and then it goes a totally different one. I was expecting a Toji showdown that's been delayed because he's targeting his son. Gogo Jogo the clown <laughs> shows up and I thought he was going to kill everyone, but then Sukuna is activated and then I thought he was going to kill Jogo, but he killed the girls. I don't know. Sukuna just, you just can't. He just is chaos, pure chaos. He makes you a deal by giving you two bad options, both of which you'll fail so he can kill you and do what he wanted to do anyway. To Jogo's credit, I mean, we've heard a lot about 
about his power. He definitely established it there by showing up and just offing or incapacitating two of the most powerful characters in like a second. And as if we needed it, that's even more credit to Gojo, who just had fun playing with him in both their interactions. Speaking of power level, there are a bunch of threads connecting here, right? Because Toji picks Megumi as the strongest. It's been alluded to, right, that Sukuna has his eyes on Megumi. What the full extent of his plans are, I can only guess. This episode is so chaotic and it continued to surprise me. I can only guess how it's going to play out. But one thing I can imagine happening is, I mean, Jogo is not going to be able to touch Sukuna, especially with this many fingers. I think Sukuna clears out Jogo, thankfully, finally. I can only hope and pray, and then moves on to Megumi. Why not check out the object of his fixation and then run into Toji, which would be really interesting. How many different sides do we even have right now? There's like four competing factions. There's the Jujutsu Sorcerers, fake Ghetto's villain crew, Toji, and now Sukuna. It's crazy. Yeah.